Victor Ortiz, former WBC welterweight champion. You fought Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Actor. <laughs> Dancer. Dancer. <laughs> uh, bow tie wearer. Yeah. Well. Let me just ask you an honest question. Okay. Did, did, did you know that I was going to wear this tie? You felt a little insecure, a little intimidated. You were like, uh, at the last second, uh, Rapport's tied up. I, I need to do something to Dude, sort of. Absolutely. I had to, man. I was like, well, he's going to look really polished, really nice. I have to step up the game, rise to the occasion. And... Okay. I respect it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate Thank you joining you. the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> you look fantastic. It's two uh, very, very uh, well-dressed men. Maybe <laughs> GQ. I don't know. We're somewhere, here. Somewhere on a Photo lines. shoot, cover shoot. <laughs> um, listen, there's been so much discussion about this fight. Brock just referred to it as the fight of the century. I've heard that so many times before in my life. I just heard that also. I was like... As a boxer, you face Floyd Mayweather. You're obviously a fan. You're a participant. You're an actual fighter. The fight of the century. What can we expect Saturday night? In, in all series, what do you expect to happen in the first three rounds? Let's say that. Uh, possibility of the fight being done. Seriously? Oh, yeah. How? Mayweather, he can end it when he wants, I personally think. In the sense of, does he have power? I don't think so. Does he have power to take care of somebody of, of a pro debut caliber as a boxer? I think so. Do you think that if you're if you're coaching, talking to your best friends with Conor McGregor, yeah. who's never fought a professional boxing match, who's going to get paid so much more than he's ever gotten paid in a UFC fight, because even the face of the UFC is not a very, very wealthy guy when it comes to athletic prowess, yeah. which it says something about the UFC. But if you're best friends with Conor McGregor and he says, Vic, what do you suggest I do to put myself in the best position to win this fight? What would you say? I would uh, tell him to pressure, pretty much pressure the fight, and uh, don't don't let the guy breathe, but keep it keep it clean, obviously, you know. Right, because if you don't keep it clean, isn't there isn't there uh, like they see he, there's a contract? If there's a kick contract some, clause or something like that. So they mean, say. Yeah, so they say. Allegedly. Allegedly. You got to say allegedly about everything. Allegedly, okay. You got, we have to say <laughs> allegedly, preface it, and end things with allegedly. Um, I was discussing earlier my disappointment as a fan of the UFC with the continual major fight of the century. Two weeks later, these guys coming dirty um, with whatever they're using, allegedly. Allegedly. Um, how many times has Floyd Mayweather been tested for... You know, steroids, illegal, illegal substances before and, this fight. At this point, how, how many times did you guess he's been tested? I would say about 12. Uh, at this point in time, 12, the last two months. since Actually, since the fight was announced, which is approximately about two months. Uh, McGregor's been tested 10. Okay. Uh, I don't know where, what kind of issue that's going to bring up, but it's interesting. Now, I know you, you're, you can't speak to the UFC side of it, but... In this day and age, can't they test these guys? I mean, listen, it would suck. It would suck for a lot of people. There's a lot of money on the line. And, and, and when you say, this, we're not talking about, you know, a few thousand bucks. There's billions of dollars probably at the end of the day on the line. If one of these guys, Mayweather, McGregor, or any fighter before a big fight, the week of a fight, got tested positive, well, let's just say theoretically, M Mayweather, Tested positive today for they're not gonna they're not gonna tell anybody today. They oh, have no. to keep the train going. It's yeah. There's too much money in Vegas, there's too much money in, in, in UFC, the sport, there's too much money online. That train's going full speed. Period. It's not slowing down. He could have tiger blood in him today oh. and they're gonna <laughs> keep that fight. And then two weeks later they'll be like, oh, he they fought illegally. Correct? Oh, absolutely. So yeah. how do we fix this? Because I'm ch I feel cheated about what happened in the John Jones thing, and and I feel cheated. I mean, it's not just boxing and UFC. Obviously, it's all over sports. How do you suggest they fix this? If they really wanted to get to the bottom of it, and make sure we're having clean participants. How do we do this? Man, how do we do that? That's a that's a great question. That's like a million dollar question. <laughs> um, how do we fix this? I hey, the, like you said in, a little bit ago, the, the train's rolling. You can't slow it down. You can't stop it. I think a, a rematch without any kind of, you know, issue of, of dirtiness in it would definitely be on the line. That's my personal opinion. Right. Because, I mean, obviously, the fight's already here. It's what, days away, you know? The, uh, the, 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 the big thing, one of the big things, there's been so many storylines and, 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 you know, like it's, it's gaining momentum that people are bored. 
Uh, Mayweather agreed. It seemed like this was like a Mayweather thing. He agreed to fight in eight ounce gloves, eight ounce gloves Saturday night. What does that mean? How much uh, power is differentiates between 10 ounce gloves, which I think they were going to use to eight ounce gloves. Does that give McGregor any advantage? Does it give Mayweather any advantage? Well, it certainly gives Mayweather an advantage because that's the world he comes up in. Um, McGregor has never actually fought in a in an actual fight in the senses of not not a sparring match. I'm talking an actual fight. Boxing. With, yeah, with eight ounce gloves or 10 ounce gloves. Because, you know, if you say an actual fight, he'd be like, I fought UFC. I'll, I'll no, no, kick no. you. I'll beat yeah. you up, Victor Ortiz. Hey, he is a fighter. No, I, I know. I'm but, a, you know, I'm this guy's fan. nuts. I'm a fan. But... He would threaten Draymond Green. Yeah. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because you're careful what you wish for, you know? Yeah. And so, regardless, uh, I think it doesn't really matter what size of gloves is going to be. At the end of the day, it's going to be skill. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's a pro debuter versus a... You know, a well veteran fighter, you know. Um, I think with that eight ounces, it'll add some power to the boxer. And not to lesser any on, on McGregor, but 12 rounds of eight ounces, you're not used to that. Now, you said uh, recently that you, you had a very crazy, wacky, I'm sure you look back on that night that you fought Mayweather and you probably have so many thoughts, feelings, um, you know, and, and just like it was just such a crazy night. And I was rooting for you. I've never rooted for Floyd Mayweather in a fight. I am rooting for him Saturday because I am rooting for the sport of boxing. Yes, sir. I'm rooting for the boxing, for the boxer. But what did you take away from your fight with your four rounds with Mayweather? I, recently, you said you felt like he didn't have a lot of power. It was only four rounds and you, you weren't as impressed uh, uh, the hype of his speed didn't li live up to well, it. Well, that's what it comes down to for me. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to bash on anyone. <laughs> Uh, people want to know the truth and the honesty that I have. They don't agree with it, but I have my opinion, mm -hmm. and people in the world have their opinion. My opinion of that particular night was I was in, kind of impressed to myself in the senses of I came in, and the whole time it was not Victor's got no speed. Victor has no speed. But he has uh, only power. He carries the the left and the right. They're equally strong, yada, yada, yada. But then when I went into the actual fight, I started, okay, okay, come on, champ. What do you got? What do you got? So right away, I think the awkwardness of me being lefty, right. kind of like, okay, okay, he's a little aggressive. The moment he went like that to me, I, I kind of moved. He threw a straight right. I went over the top straight and then hooked him. If I'm the not that fast and I'm the slowest guy in the world, I just carry power. Then how am I going to do that to the fastest man in the world? Right. It didn't make sense to me. So what did so you then, take away from I mean, I know it was only four rounds. Uh, and it, was, it wasn't even full four rounds. He's very beatable. He very is. Beatable. But how come he hasn't been beaten? Uh, not sure. Because we don't have a rematch. Right. That's my opinion, but <laughs> mine a gun, uh, upon many. So, 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 so Conor McGregor is going to go after him. He is also left-handed. He claims that he could fight both ways. We don't know what he could do as far as boxing. Um, again, you're thinking that the only way, the only chance in, in heck that Connor has is to like do what Madonna did because when you watch that Madonna fight, like I remember watching the first Madonna fight, I was like, "That's the way you do it. You go after." Him. And then when I watched the replay of the first Madonna fight, he caught Floyd legitimately once, and a lot of it was to the body. He was, you know, gloves, to the head, and was. Gloves, the, the, yeah. I mean, and then the second fight, obviously, he was totally outclassed. Um, you know, Conor McGregor, is this going to be? Where we're sitting there, we're all excited, we're eating our popcorn, we're eating our chicken wings, we're eating our pizza, and then it starts, there's a national anthem, you know, everybody's going to be, you know, ooh and an on, and then is it going to be boring 12 rounds of a, a normal Floyd Mayweather fight? Because normally his fights, even when he's most impressive, they're boring. It, or is it going to be, I mean, you really think that he has the power at this, uh, at this age with the weak hands, because his hands are, they've been broken a lot. Fragile. Do you think he has a chance to knock him out? Or, I mean, like, what, what do you, like, at the end of the night Saturday? I was speaking about this a couple days ago. I said, uh, as, a, as a boxer, strictly a boxer, don't come forward type of fighter, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So I don't think, I mean, you could say as much as you want. Yeah, I'm going to attack. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Actions speak louder than words. I don't really say, right. oh, I'm going to attack. I right. just say, hey, it's going to be a great fight. Uh, right. We're going to see, you know, who we're up to. I fought a couple weeks ago. Hey, the guy says he's going to knock you out. He's going to take it to you, that you're weak, you are you have no heart, you're gutless. Uh, okay, that's cool. Well, I see you Saturday or Sunday night. Right. Uh, well, he said he's going to drop you. I'm like, you said that already. Great. Who cares, yeah. right? I'll see you Sunday. Right. We get in the ring on Sunday, and I was like, all right. <laughs> and, it, and then 
three rounds in, I heard him completely about on the verges of dropping him, stopping him. Fourth round, I ended him completely. And I didn't have to really sit there and say it. I just, I just boxed. I just did it. All right. Well, you're 30 years old. I want to keep seeing you doing your thing. Damn, I am. I, there's, I think there's a lot, a lot of in front of you. Prediction. Give me what's going to happen Saturday night. Who wins and how? What's your I, prediction? I strongly believe. Like, if you, you had to bet your tie collection, like, ooh, that's kind of come ooh. on, bro. It's a low blow. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, so I strongly believe, like you were saying earlier, um, pushing for the boxer because it is my sport. Um, I think he can end it whenever he wants. Personally. All right. Whether it's early, late, is this really up to the momentum Floyd brings? All right. Victor Ortiz, thank you for joining. Oh, thank you. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun night, if nothing else, Saturday night. And I appreciate you joining the Rich Eisen Show. Guest hosted by me, Michael Rapport, Incredibly dressed. Victor Ortiz, incredibly <laughs> dressed. Michael Rapport. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Allegedly. Thank you. Allegedly. Allegedly very good dress. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.